So we got a call to come take care of a problem at a house in, is it Sumrall? Sumrall, Mississippi. They've got bees in a soffit that have become a problem for the neighborhood. A lot of walkers, a lot of dog walkers, and bees are getting aggressive and dangerous for the homeowner and the community. So we're headed up to get them just ahead of the first tropical storm of the year. Yep. Yeah. Welcome to the south. Give us a, a weather report, Pete. Uh, cloudy, rainy, measurable. Bees don't like it either. Uh, they're going to be hard to handle. What's, the, what's that tropical storm they named it? Alberto. No, I think it's actually Albert. I think it's Alberto. I want to see if you'd repeat what you said when we were on the scaffold. Which one? <laughs> right, you're right again. No, nah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> So we're going to go up there and rescue some bees and rescue a community and hopefully not get tore up doing it. Chances are low. <laughs> Chances are high we'll get tore up. <laughs> are you recording now? Fingers away from the lens? Yep. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. Uh, I, yeah. It's not normal for me to put my finger in front of it. We all, we're out here on a muggy hot day. Thank God for overcast weather. It was what 87 or 90 degrees today mm -hmm. but uh, we have a front coming in on the gulf of mexico and it's throwing off some cells and some some rain and stuff look at the brood combs we're pulling out of this thing nice big brood comb that's the, that's the first full brood comb i pulled i pulled another one but it was small uh, this soffit was filled out to here. I, I hit it with the FLIR and I got heat to here, but I did a strategic cut right here, which this measurement here is the width of my shoulders. <laughs> and that's the, only, that's the only measurement I took for that cut because I couldn't find any cross bracing above this so that we didn't have to do dead wood. But I found, I took this board off and found two nails Going up through this top board here, which is really just a soffit framing. I thought maybe there would be some structure there, but there's not. So we'll put some dead wood when we put all this back. We've cleaned all this out. All this was solid honey. We've already filled up a bag with honey. We're now working on a bag of brood. If we cut it right, we could probably fill a frame with that. But uh, one of the things I wanted to demonstrate to you today, and this is after I've run bees out from between these combs because they're pretty agitated with this weather. I've probably been stunned 35 or, or so times. And if Pete leaves right now, it's because he's getting stung again because he's probably he's probably taking I got about 15 <laughs> just standing around. I was going to say 10 or 12 to the face. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's at least a good seven or eight to my face. So here's so here's what I'm doing. I've got we've got the, the angle of the roof, which is usually pretty hard to get to. So I'm cutting off of the sheathing. Cut everything off the sheathing as high as I can get it. I've already cut off of the back of the fascia and I've got this hand forged tool built by Chris Kenzer. And it's kind of on the opposite angle of what I would have cut it, but it is working perfectly left-handed for this job. So it's made to fit between combs, you go up to the top and just cut, drag and cut. If you can see the angle, it's like a scythe. It's fairly sharp, it's hardened, but it's for dragging across the top of combs. And it's cut at an angle where it kind of keeps it up on the top of the comb. And it's working pretty good in this situation because reaching up in the top of that to cut that is, is hard. So you really, you, you otherwise you gotta start down here and just make a mess of everything. But let me see if I can get another clean cut. I'm going up to the back of the combs turning sideways and dragging down all the way to the bottom and it cut a nice cut on a full sheet of brood. Pete and I had something similar made out of a old paint roller handle, an old extended paint roller handle, yep. but it wasn't sharpened. It was just to break the tops loose on cones that were, were hard to reach. But this right here not only breaks them loose, it cuts them. So, working pretty nice. We're in a 
house with hardy soffit and spray foam insulation so the bees are up into the attic. They've, they've chewed into the spray foam about four inches in this space. I can't tell on this one, I haven't gotten all the way to the foam yet, but I believe they've made access into the attic at this point. It's probably 4.30 p.m. by now. We started kind of late on this one. It's actually 4.20. 4.20. We started about 3.30, I guess, on this one. And I'm drenched in honey, just getting rained on through the whole job. Can you, oh, yeah. can you see the you, honey? You stuck your arm right in the camera. Yeah. And can you see all the stings? I'm red everywhere. I'm talking, there's a stinger right there. They're just eating you up. There's a new stinger right there, I just felt. But it's hot out here, so I don't want to put on a suit. So I'm smoking the crap out of them. You never want to put on a suit. <laughs> Hi. I think we're through the brood combs and we're back into honey again. From what I can tell, that next comb has a few drone cells right in the middle of it. So, uh, unless I find otherwise, we're back into honey again and we're probably just gonna chop and drop for the rest of this. We'll run the bees out of it. We're gonna keep this for feeding back. We're coming into a dearth. The uh, Chinese tallow and uh, what else? Elderberry, all that kind of stuff is about played out. Elderberry and arrowwood and, and a few other things are still blooming a little bit, but Chinese tallow is pretty well played out. So we're starting on a dearth. I'll take all this honey and set it out at home. Even the brood combs, I'll leave it open because there's a little bit of honey in there. Let them clean that up before it goes in the melter. We'll melt that down and refine it. What about the chickens? Yeah, the chickens, they don't know what to do with it. They just look at it. If it's got high beetle larvae on it, they'll go after it for a little bit, but not a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody says, feed it all to the chickens. Well, the chickens act like they get a full stomach on it pretty quick. So <laughs> I usually just throw it all in the melter. Some pine needles that might be dry around his front plants here. Look at that. It looks like dark honey. I can go in the honey bucket. Are you want me to film or you want me to deal with your honey? No, we're done filming. <laughs> 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 That's last year's fall honey. That's really good. Stronger honey flavor than that stuff you had a little bit earlier. You know, we're not out of the brood comb yet. There's still brood comb. Ah, son. Bleep, 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 bleep. Let me look at them around me while I'm putting the suit on. I see them. This is your last chance, girls. Get him. <laughs> As Barney Stenson said, suit up. Now, girls, y'all want to play? Let's play. Your hair is in the zipper. Yes, it is. <laughs> My ponytail was in it. Your ponytail. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> oh, you're ripping your ponytail out. It's only the gray ones. <laughs> I got one in here with me. <laughs> in the shirt, actually. Uh, you got gloves or ratchet straps on them. Got them from you. <laughs> I don't know where this came from. I don't know if they'll fit my hands. Uh, no, but they came from you too. Ow, ow, ow. There's still one in my shirt somewhere. More than one of the things I'm getting. They were tearing me up pretty bad, so I was taking a break. Sent him up there to vacuum. <laughs> he got up there for about two minutes or so. Ah, I see why you came down there. Tearing me up. And I was like, yeah. They're destroying me. I got stingers all in my shirt. Yeah, yeah I got one more big piece. And then whatever's on top of that two by four, which might be what? Another two for the... You got two by four in a little space, probably two more pieces. And yeah. I'm using that tool. I'm using that tool backwards compared to what you were using it. Uh-huh. It's working just fine. I think I'm going to... Call him and see if I can't get him to make me four. 
See if you can flatten the blade instead of keeping it at that angle he's got. Well, I'm gonna see if I can make them at four different angles. Yeah. I like right, a right hand, a left hand, and a straight. I, I like the two. Because a straight, you could go, you could flip it either way. And then a right hand and a left handed. That gives that you just need two more because you've got a left hander now. I like the way it's designed. It's just a, it's a left hander uh, pull to you. Yeah. But I might have to walk down the street for you to pick me up so I can get the bleeds off of me. <laughs> I know, man. They over here ripping me up. Actually, stand close and let that blow them all off of me. Yeah, I bought this little, it's not strong. It's a little cheap $99 blower and i've been over here blowing smoke in them and that's actually working pretty good i bought this on another job last week because we were working in a commercial building i had to blow bees out of the parking lot when we were done yeah blow these off of me see what happens Nah, they're hanging on too tight. I almost want to put a clip back here to, that'll hold it here for me. Yeah. When I look up, I can see. Yeah. Put a stitch in it. Yeah, because it's, be a great, if it wasn't for this piece right here, that when I look up, that's all I see. Mm. And if I had a hat, didn't have the hat on, it'd be even worse, because then I would just see this section too. Yeah. <laughs> so I can't see upward. Definitely not made for cutouts. No. Now, if I work in a bee box, who cares? You know? Yeah. Well, the sun wouldn't hit me in my face at an angle up this way while I work, but that's not what we do. Not what we do. That's what that suit's made for. So here's what we do. All day long. <laughs> All day long. Thanks to Stuntman Pete for taking it in the face so many times on this one. <laughs> There's a pond over there, about a hundred yards, and he almost made it to the pond a while ago. I had to walk further away than I normally do to get him to just stop. Boy, they are just nonstop, just getting blasted. <laughs> not bad though, not a bad day's work. The best part about it is there's no paperwork. Unless you include the paper coming off the, the Benadryl you have to take. No, I don't take Benadryl. I don't take nothing. I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> Most people do for this. And it's. Yeah. I think I've done it once. One day I got like 40 stings and I just felt a little yucky and I took one. We're, we're talking about people sending subscribers sending us stuff to try out or whatever and pete's like what's this us stuff <laughs> yeah <laughs> pete's kind of he gets the short end of this he gets the trickle down so whatever doesn't fit me it's uh, never gonna fit me because <laughs> it's huge <laughs> <laughs> but because we featured saracel's suit in this video and i like saracel but some products just are not meant for what we do and that suit that Pete had is one of them. Stinging me through the suit. Yeah. Now these were uh, rather defensive bees. They were they were really all over us. So <laughs> it, it wasn't your typical, you know, I'm tending my two little hives in my backyard, which no. which is what that suit is made for. It's, it's made for somebody who's got one or two, three hives working in their backyard, completely dry. We were drenched and reaching and, you know, stretching and so, the material's tight against your skin, and it's already, the suit's already really too small for him anyway. So, and just, it's an extra large, and it still wouldn't fit me. Yeah, just want to put that out there that although Saracel does have good equipment, uh, that's, that's not the suit that you want if you're doing any kind of high level beekeeping or removals. removals. So, if you're just starting out, maybe not a bad deal. 
I don't know what the price is on them. We're pulling up to our next job.